The following is a presentation of the Eagles Sports Network. Finn, after Carson Newman wins this game by a 5-4 tally, Coach, uh, let's start right with the guys on the mound, Matt Coles and Braden Coe. Uh, what would you think of those two guys' efforts today, keeping you guys on the winning path? Well, obviously, Coles was the story of the game. And uh, Travis, uh, he hasn't caught a lot this year, but I think, you know, having a veteran pitcher like Coles, Coles basically calling his game, um, but I thought they were in sync, uh, locating fastballs, mixing it up, uh, fastball BP change, changing speeds on your fastball, uh, a, an exceptional job against an outstanding hitting team. So that was all about Coles, and then, um, you know, being able to make some plays behind him, the double plays, uh, in some key situations is always big, but uh, and then Co. He, he told me he had nothing in him, and you know you 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 get the ball in the best guy's hands at all times, whether it's in football, basketball, baseball, uh, even on hockey. Uh, you get that line in there that's your hot line. He's our hot guy. Love to have him with the boys. A competitive, uh, juiced up guy, and so uh, yeah, why not have him have the ball last game? Well, it works out well for you. You're yeah. going against one of the. Best pitchers in the conference in Brody McCullough. Score four times, though, in the third inning. What keyed that rally? Well, uh, Ricketts' hit was huge. I mean, he, he got that fastball and absolutely unloaded on it. And I just felt like, you know, again, it goes back to having a plan. Coach Roberts talking with the hitters. They had a good plan, um, able to eliminate some pitches. And, uh, you know, great timely hitting. That, that's baseball. It's pitching, defense, timely hitting. Um, and, and we executed, and the mindsets were good. They competed, good energy. It was a good crowd. It's, you know, lucky to be here. We got a lot of alum here, which is always great to see. I'm so fortunate in this program, so fortunate to have some great alumni. They mean a lot to us, and, uh, you know, having a good fan base here is, is always really special. I'll tell you what, you know, in my part of my career where I'm on this other side of it, um, these moments are bigger than ever. You, you when you're when you're 25, 35, 45, you know they come and go. But on this end of the uh, my career, these things uh, are very emotional. Let me tell you. How do you describe the intensity and the emotions of your team throughout this game? Well, I think it all started with Mars Hill. I think I, I, actually, Michael. I'll tell you this. I think it starts when we practice and train. It's the same way. It's not like we try to turn this on come game. We're training with intensity. We're training with passion. We're training with communication. I mean, that's what we do every day. And so the games is just a byproduct. But um, our birthday parties and celebrations are the training. Uh, the games is just uh, basically dessert. But uh, the meat, potatoes, and the appetizers is all about our training. Um, but, uh, yeah, so I think that's just something that we want to keep doing each and every day. Uh, so it's part of their mantra, part of their mindset. Coach, enjoy this one. Congrats on the win. I will, Mike. Thanks for all you do, brother.